Welcome to my leather sofa. Yeah, today um, we're go we're gonna be doing a uh, a bit of a uh, origami. Yeah, and uh, not just any origami. It's Halloween origami. Oh, my hands are out of focus. Um, yeah, it's coming up to Halloween now, and uh, I feel like I need to do something educational because Halloween is a very educational time. Um, so origami was what came to my mind because. I don't know. Um, yeah, t today we're going to be doing uh, some some origami, and we're going to do some some Halloween fav favorites. Starting with a Rokuro Kubi. Uh, I've probably butchered that, but that's everyone's favorite Halloween thing. Um, so let's let's make one. If you don't know what it is, you'll definitely know after I've made it. I think. Ooh, looks good. Okay, I have to do two separate bits, so start with a face, because this thing has a face. It's a good start when you know it has a face. Okay, cut it with scissors. Alright, I need to go get some scissors, I'll be, I'll be back. <laughs> Okay, okay, I could not find any scissors, which is a bit weird. I don't know where all my scissors are gone. Maybe the ghoulies have taken them. But I found a butter knife. So, <laughs> let's hope that does this justice. Okay. Okay, well, it wants us to cut it in half with scissors. So, first of all, we're gonna get... It's not the camera, sorry. The most Halloween-y colour of all. Uh, even though the camera is very orange today, I'm not sure why. Pink. So we're gonna start with pink. Move these out of the way. Um, it's really hard because I'm actually behind the camera, which means I've got my hands either side and my legs are killing me. I need to get a cushion. My voice is probably fluctuating because I'm moving a lot. Never mind. So we're gonna, we're gonna, oh this is really hard, my hands are so far away. Fold it in half, like that. And then once it's cut it down the middle with scissors, but because I haven't got any scissors, I'm gonna do it with a butter knife. This is a technique that my forefathers taught me. I'm joking. I'm probably insane. Yeah, I'm gonna ruin the sofa. There we go. Let's ruin a cushion instead. Okay, so now I've cut it down the middle. It's out of focus. Um, it wants us to fold in half twice to make creases and fold back line. What? <laughs> uh, so it wants us to do that. So fold it like that. Then fold it like that. Like so. Yep. Fold it. Fold it like so. Then fold into the center. So like that. And like that. And like that. And like, guess what? That is what. Uh, yes, yeah, so we got we got this little Oh yeah, got this little folded paper. Nice. It's already starting to look like a Roku Rokubi. Okay, so that's like that. That's like, oh my god. Uh, and then fold these inside, like. This. I'm literally making a paper airplane now. Oh, I was trying to fold that backwards as well! Okay, um. Just. Forgive me, Lord. Uh, yeah, so, 
Nice, nice, that's sort of like what the steps gonna look like. Then we gotta fold this back like that. Um we gotta fold open the What? That's that's not possible. Origami is a fine art. Um obviously you can tell I've mastered this art slightly. Um But some people don't find it's easy to make. Okay, just like this. And then we're gonna fold this down. Like this. And turn it over. Bring that down. That there is the neck. Or some sort of freaky ass bow tie. There we go. That is a head and a neck, apparently. Jesus Christ. Oh my God, I just looked at how to make the body. I have to make my own body, thanks. Okay, th this is a Sam original. I'm going a bit off piste here. So uh, first thing you do is you get the other half of the paper that you got from the first exercise. And what you do is you, um, to make a body, I cut myself. Oh, screw I have. Never mind. Okay, so to make a body, what you do, fold it down like, fold it down in half. Uh, make sure it's actually a bit more perfect than that. Just fold it. Uh, then you, once it's folded, you fold the bottom here, down a bit, and then back. So you've got some sort of like layered thing. Um, and then you fold it over again. You fold this bit down, this bit down, and then fold it back. Um, and then, oh, what you do is you rip it off a tiny bit, either side, bring it around, make sure it doesn't rip. And there you have it. It's a shirt, if you cannot tell. And then if you add the head to it, uh, with some glue, which I haven't got, so you have to just imagine it. I'm like, you've got, there's, there's the head, there's the body. There you go, that's the, exactly the Roku Rukubi you guys wanted. Just looked at the translation of Roku, Rokuro Kubi. Actually, it means long neck woman. I'm not sure why they find those scary in Japan. Like, it, it's it's a condition. They can't help it. So it's, it's like having like big feet footed child as a horror. Cre I don't know. I'm really tired.